head to summer already. We're trying to whip you into shape for summer, one body part at a time. So that means Rich Hesketh is here for the second part of our series we've dubbed Getting Into Stampede Shape. This time, Rich is focusing on an area that we don't see very often, but you have to try hard at it. Uh, we've got your back today. Yes. You're I mean, in stampede shape every day of your life, by the way. Well, I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's, that's the thing. You made a great point. It's an area that you don't generally see. You look in the mirror, you don't really see what's going on sure. at the back. So back it many times can be neglected when okay. it comes to training. So I've asked my friends at Apple Fitness to bring some you equipment in. You brought the whole well, gym. Well, I didn't want to put this in my car, so I asked <laughs> them if they could, they could bring it. So we've got lots of gear here that we can use. Um, but this is nothing that you can't have in your own home gym either. Okay. So it's a it's good options. There's no machinery that you necessarily need to do, although it is nice to have. Right. We started off with the the pull-ups. The TRX. Uh, the TRX. Now with that, um, if you can't do pull-ups, if you're not strong enough to do to pull-ups and chins, right. Those kinds of things are probably the best you can use for your back. Is it? Uh, is you think of the back, it's a pulling action. Right. Everything's used. So if you're pulling this way, mm -hmm. or this way, or even pulling with your hands out, right. those are all areas that the back does. Okay. It's a pulling exercise. So if you're going to break it down, and anything that you do with pulling is going to involve back muscle. Right. So your body weight is a good way to do that. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I couldn't do pull-ups in the rafters. Nope. So again, we did the TRX. <laughs> you don't want to pull the lights down. Um, and if you don't have machinery, again, you can use some, some nice dumbbells here. These are great. These are compact. Yes. There are two things you're working on when you're working with your back. You're working with thickness, mm -hmm. and you're working with let me put these down, thickness and width. So with this, if you keep your hands in this position and use good load, pull in, drive your elbows to the back and keep your back nice and flat and strong, this is working thickness of your back. Okay, so building turns, size? Well, if you think of the body, you're thick this way, uh -huh. and then the width is the V-shape. Right. So if you want to go to, to width, you do pull-ups wide okay. or lat pull-downs wide right. in a wide grip. Mm -hmm. If you want thickness, you bring your hands in and load up so down. you get more of this, this thickness of the body. Okay. So there's, there's two different things you're working on with this. So we do concentrated effort to do that. Mm -hmm. Another option with the, the row is you can use dumbbells or you can use kettlebells. Okay. Is be in a stance or, again, use a bench, but support your back in a flat back position and pull back. I usually call this trying to start a, a lawnmower. lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, or a snowblower. Okay. But we don't have much snow. No. Nope. So we're pulling this way. And again, the idea with this is if you're looking, you're trying to get your shoulder blade to pull around okay. your rib cage. Mm. So it's not just pulling with your arm, mm -hmm. you're trying to pull with here the back. And back. So there's a little bit of an extension at the end to hold this position. So what you're working on is your shoulder blades coming in and together. In terms of repetition, is this to failure or is this sets? Well, you're doing, working? again, for building, you want to be in about a 10 to 12 range. Right. Um, and yes, at the end of your set, you should be very close to failure. You want to pick a weight that 10 is, if you can't do that, then that's too heavy. Right. If you can do 12, it might be a little bit too light. Too light, okay. So you want to stay kind of in those ranges from that end of it. Three sets, okay. four sets? Yes. Both. Or five sets. Or five. You know, change your weeks. One week, three, next week, four, next week, five, and then go back to three again. Okay. So you're undulating your training. We want to get to the tenderloin. Yes. Oh, yeah, beef tenderloin. So <laughs> if you think of the back, um, sometimes it's neglected right. down here. And the muscles down either part of your spine is basically beef tenderloin. So any tenderloin that you're working with in this... So in a back Low extension back. or a hyper extension, mm -hmm. if you're going up and down, you're working the muscles that cover either part of the spine. Right. And again, that's, that's a good look. I mean, that's something that a lot of people don't see. That is and a good if, look. Yeah, and if you're not strengthening it, it's not there. It's, I agree with you. Yeah. It, is, it is a good look. Okay, the back you're working out one time a week. How many um, times a week? Again, you're going to work on probably a three to four day split. My ball's going to roll away. Yeah. Um, but... Um, you should at least get to each body part twice in a week. Okay, there you have yeah. it. Building your summer bod just in time for Stampede. We look forward to the next body part Absolutely. and the next part of the series. And looking ahead to summer does feel like spring.